on floor stage here. And oh, I want to make a really quick video today about starting where you are instead of where you think you need to be or where you should be. Um, gosh, this is such an amazing concept and topic. So for years, I judged myself because I thought I needed to be something else or something better or something different. And it wasn't until I actually said, fuck it, I'm just going to be who I am and I'm going to try to be the best version of who I am every day. I, I can't be somebody that I'm not. I can't be farther along than what I really am. So I'm just going to take who I am today and embrace it. Hi, Haley. Yeah, I'm just going to embrace it. And that's when my life like opened up <laughs> because I wasn't concerned about who I was going to be in the future or this, that, or something else. I was just like embodying who I was that day. And I allowed myself to be the best version of myself that I could be. And if I didn't like something about myself, then I would work on it. But not out of a place of because I knew I had to be somebody different. I knew that I just wanted more. Hi, General. Hi, hi Giselle. And so, and I know this is a big topic. I know this is a big concern of a lot of people is because, especially if you're a business owner or a parent or a spouse or a partner with someone, we think we have to be something other than what we are. You know, we see business owners who are making seven figures or eight figures or nine figures and we're like, oh my God, I wish I could be that. Or even, you know, maybe you're just getting started and you see somebody making six figures going, holy shit, I need to be there right now. And, but just the thought of it is just feeling overwhelming for you, you know. Hi Viv. And, or maybe you're a parent and you feel like you have to be doing all this other stuff. I am so glad my kids are older. Oh my gosh. I see parents nowadays with youngsters, like little tiny babies, and they're pulling their hair out. They think, well, I have to serve organic. I have to do this and I have to do that. I said, no, you don't have to do anything, but make sure that your kids are clean and they're fed and that they're safe. That's it. And give them just a loving, nurturing place. But you don't have to do anything that you don't feel you really is is best for you and your kids, you know. Hi, Michelle. Um, and I, I, you know, recently read a comment in my private Facebook group, the High Vibe Tribe, because it takes a village. And one of the people in there was just like, um, she she was commenting about how she was stressing out about how or who th she thought she needed to be, and she goes, you know what? I'm just gonna be the best mom that I can be today. That's it. Screw everything else. And I'm like, exactly. That's exactly what it's about. Exactly. And it's interesting because most people, when they finally make that realization or have that aha moment, the world opens up for them. It, they, it just opens up. They're just like, holy shit, I can't believe I didn't think about this before. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't just embrace who I was before and just be the best version of myself possible today. You know? And as you learn, as you grow, as you expand, that's when your version of yourself changes and morphs and expands over time. But we don't have to rush the process. And when you try to rush the process, that's when you get pissed and that's when you get frustrated. So today I'm here to tell you to just chill the fuck out, <laughs> relax, and enjoy who you are today without the pressure of feeling like you have to be somebody else. Okay? Just relax. <laughs> relax. Seriously. I mean, that is like the one thing that I have been guided to share with you and that's just it. Just chill the fuck out and relax and who you are today. That's it. That's it. You know, um, in my new journaling program, we talked about in the pre-work, we talked about, you know, what do you want? And then I posed the question again. Okay, so now what do you really want? And then I pose another question, all right, so what do you really, really want? And that's the thing that people are like, holy shit. Like, I've been got, I mean, like, literally people have said, holy shit, Flora, I can't believe this. I've been getting so many private messages from my VIPs going, I can't believe that I missed this before. I, and it's just mind-blowing what's coming up in this pre-work that we've been doing. And that's just the thing is that when you just get rid of all the bullshit and you allow yourself to just be you and be you authentically and be the best version of you possible, 
on any given day, that's when the world opens up and that's when you can all of a sudden see the forest through the trees. That's when you can finally see how much potential you actually have. Because if we try to start from a place that we're not even at yet, it makes it really hard to finish anything. But if you give yourself permission to start where you're at and say, this is where I'm at and this is, I love where I'm at because it's showing me what I like, what I don't like and everything in between, then you can say, okay, so from an empowered place, where do I want to go? Who do I want to be? What do I want to strive for? What do I want to achieve in my life? And that's when you can start something new. That's when you can start a new direction, a new path, a new relationship. Or you can just say, no, yeah, I'm good. I love where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to chill and I'm just going to be in this energy for a while. You don't always have to be doing something. You can just be. You can just allow yourself to just be like, hey, I freaking rock, man. I love who I am right now. Yes, I am a self-help junkie. I'm constantly reading uh, self-help books. I'm listening to books on tape and all this other stuff. But a lot of the times what I like to do is re-listen to the stuff that I've listened to forever. I mean, forever. And it's not because I'm trying to better myself or I'm trying to find something else to work on. It's because I'm really liking where I'm at and I just want to maintain. I just want to maintain. And I'm like, yeah, this is really freaking good. I really, really like this. So that's my message for you today. Um, hang on. We got some comments. Michelle is like, hi. Hello. She says, you're right. Yes. Mary says, hello, wonderful girl. Hello. <laughs> Kelly says, amen, sister. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Rosie's laughing. Uh, Viv says, the realization that the only standards you have to meet are, the one, are your own is incredibly liberating. Yes, it is. It is, oh my God. To, to say it's incredibly liberating is kind of an understatement. It's so, it's true freedom. It is really just true freedom to be okay with where you're at and then allow yourself to call the shots for what you want. Um, and that's one of the things that I actually am teaching in my journaling program, in, in, in my journaling class, is where are you at right now and what do you want and how do you call your own shots? How do you actually figure this out? And, oh, it's exciting. Uh, so Kaylee goes, oh, I needed to hear this message today. Woohoo! <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in. Timothy says, yay, I'm home and awake to see this. Hi, Flora. Hi, Paige. Yay, hashtag night shift. <laughs> I love it. Way back in the day, I worked uh, weekend doubles at a nursing home, and I also worked night shift when I wasn't doing weekend doubles. That's hard. That's tough, especially when you have two young kids. All right, I got to get off here because I have a coaching call with a client, fabulous client, um, at 1 o'clock, so I got to get going. But if you're interested in learning how to start learning how to let go of all these, all the hullabaloo, all the chaos, all the bullshit so that you can really truly be happy where you're at and then you can, from that place of stillness and that place of happiness, then decide what it is that you truly want and how to move forward, click the link below and check out my new program called Journaling. It is absolutely most epically amazing so far. We started the pre-work on Monday. We officially start class on Thursday the 27th. And I hope to see all of you in the class. Uh, if not, go ahead and click link number two and check out the free journaling class that I did last week Wednesday. And that will give you a kickstart for it. All right. I love you all. And I hope to see you all back here tomorrow very, very soon. Bye.